How did you yeah. pull through it? Um, just fighting for every point. I mean, um, I didn't play so well in the second set, and she stepped up her game. And today, I think, was just an ugly win. And I think um, I think today is like, you know, in the Grand Slam, typically you have one or two bad matches. And I think today was one of those that you just kind of had to get through. And hopefully, it's smooth sailing from here. You got through it in the second set. This was your 102nd career win. And I'm thinking this is a crazy thing to ask someone your age, but do you feel like a veteran? Um, um, no and yes. I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do on the court now. I don't, it's all about doing it. Um, so I think I'm doing more of doing it instead of not doing it. Um, but I think that's, I'm not a vet quite yet, and I won't be for a long time. But, um, I mean, it just al also is about perspective, about who you play. I mean, today, obviously, she's been on tour longer than me, but um, sometimes you might play someone who's newer. Sounds like words from a valedictory speech. Yeah. Transition, apart from your success here on the courts, big week for you, high school graduate. What's yeah. what's life like as a high school graduate? How'd you celebrate? Um, no, it's the same. Uh, but I did go to the Eiffel Tower and take some pictures and nice dinner. Um, yeah, to be honest, I mean, it was not like how I when I you know when I was young how I thought I would graduate high school. <laughs> um, I mean, the plan was always to do online school, and then senior year. Um, enroll in a regular high school and graduate from there. But obviously tennis took had its other plans and I'm glad that it was a good change. You've got a good alibi. Take, take your tassel, move it to the other side because you're in the, uh, right you're, to the left to right, I think. You're I in the remember. third round, left to right. Uh, congrats, Coco, that was Thank great. You. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.